This is called Everything is Gonna Be All Light. All Light. Come here, baby. From your eye, never gonna be the more mellow guy. You say you got problems. Well, I do too, but like me, you don't need to be letting them get to you. You say the weight of the world is leaving you flat, and you heard from your girlfriends that they make a pill for that. Listen to the liars Cause if you wanna lose your blues You know, girl, you gotta look higher Like it's saying in the book If you wanna get on the hook You gotta look ahead and say that's right Cause the days are coming like a thief in the night And everything is gonna be all night Tasting the vine. And you only need a little bit of bread, girl, to have a good time. Like I said in the book, if you want to get off the hook, you got to look at the sign that's right. Because the days are coming like a thief in the night. And everything is going to be all right. still dissatisfied about the state of the nation well whoever said that the government head was going to be your salvation and now you want to cut out because your brain can't stand the strain let your head down mama we don't need the trauma because we're headed for a higher plane
Thank you.
out the generators. And you are watching the extended play sessions. The name of this song is That Evil. gonna make you work right off the bat.
no more hair suits, some spectator shoes, tattoos across my knuckles saying bone loose. A dollar, dollar, fifty haircuts, a half a dollar cone, a half a can of pomade. I'm still going home alone. Losing won't stay away. Don't believe that voodoo mess you gotta say. She's a Creole woman. All she had to say is don't worry, share. Let's let bon ton I still cross my heart, for it's too late. I Drive across the river, don't know what to expect. Woman had a 65 La Sable, back seat reeks of sex. I hold my breath when I cross the bridge, just in case. I look across the sea, woman's got a grin on her face. She's a Louisiana woman, stay away. Don't believe that voodoo mess you gotta say. She's a beautiful Creole woman. All she had to say was don't worry, share. Let's a let bon ton I still cross my heart, for it's too late. Thick as gumbo after the rain. There's a liar's moon shining down on Lake Pontchartrain. I study and stumble, but there ain't no going home. I hear Irma Thomas playing on the radio. She's a loser and won't stay away. Don't believe that voodoo. You gotta say Now she's a Creole woman All she had to say Don't worry, share Let's let bon ton relate I still cross my heart For it's too late
could have been there for days. I lost track of time. I remember redfish hanging from a chicken wire line. Now when the fever broke, I was alone in my bed. She must have crossed her fingers when she hung cross legs. She's a loser and a woman. Stay away. Don't believe voodoo mass you gotta say. She's a queer woman. All she had to say. But don't worry, she passing in my own town relate. I still cross my heart. Oh, it's too late. I still cross my heart, for it's too late. I kind of would, I don't want to tell fate. I still cross my heart, for it's too late. That's a true story. Doesn't ask his power type picking up slack. You can burn a pound of flesh if you trim an ounce of fat. Money changers on the temple now they don't produce a thing. They'll just outsource, downsize, let freedom ring. Syndicated bullshit. There's a talk show idiot. You just lost your job. They'll say the union is a cause of it. A pat on the back. Hey Charles, show you the door. When they finish screwing dad, they'll send Junior off the wall. Three years in the guard, he's already on tour number two. When it's someone else's son, it's a easy thing to do, wrap it in the flag, throw in combat pay, that flag was made in Hong Kong. I bet you the old glory's made in Hong Kong. You got some seven-year-old undernourished child sewing that flag in Hong Kong. When I in China, K signs a long time ago. Now we appreciate your service, but sir, you gotta go. Too little money for the casualties today. There's only so many beds down at the VA. But now come back and see me around election time. When the cameras are rolling, shit, I try to grow a spine and I'll get you the funding to do what's right. If it pulls well with the base, I might fight a good fight. But once the ballots are counted in a back up on the hill, I'd like to help you with your problem. My calendar is filled. I sure they can help you back at the VA where they fly old glory proud. Yes, they fly the stars and stripes so proud. Got brave men waiting and dying while they fly that flag so proud. For 19 cents a day. Come on, baby.
You got teen moms pregnant on MTV. I guess music doesn't sell like reality. Now your 15 minutes of fame ain't free. Just roll miles of planet out on cable TV. Now Johnny slang and came since he was nine. He got money in his pocket. I guess no child left behind. Now that's not your style. Move on down the dial. Fair and balanced news like some celebrity trial. Left wing, right wing, it don't mean a thing. Them fools just tell a bunch of lies. Oh, the pairs of ponies been grabbing in the flag. Don't matter what they say. That flag was made in Hong Kong. I bet your old glory is made in Hong Kong. Just about every damn thing's made in Hong Kong. So the beauty of this job right here is we get to travel from Portland, Maine to Portland, Oregon, everywhere in between and see this wonderful country. And it truly is, I'm not a flag, I'm a Marine, but I'm not a flag waver. You gotta, if you're gonna talk the talk, you better walk the walk. And the, the beauty of this country and the strength of this country, and I say it every night, is in our diversity. People, places, things, religions, lifestyles, cultures, whatever. That's what this country was built on, and that's what makes us strong. So we are in the great state of North Carolina. My parents' bedroom set was built in North Carolina, in Asheville, North Carolina, in 1988. It's as good today as it was the day it was made. It was made by people who gave a damn about what they were doing and made an honest day's pay for an honest day's work. My bedroom set, <laughs> I bought at Hook Finn's Wholesale Warehouse two years ago, and it's a piece of shit made in Shanghai. And I ain't blaming the Chinese one bit. I don't blame that at all. They're just doing what they ought to be doing, making a buck. But somebody sold the American craftsman down the river, and it sure as shit went to Chinese. Because you can't find a furniture factory in North Carolina anymore. It's all been outsourced to China. You have people that made wonderful things that can't make a living doing what they ought to be doing. And that is a shame and a sin. So we got a label that allows me to say whatever it is I want to say. <laughs> so... so on this verse, I just did that. My father said, son, he said two things. He said, son, if you're not pissing somebody off by what you're saying, you ain't saying shit. And he also said, son, if someone's dumb enough to stick a microphone in front of your face, you might as well tell them what you think, because chances are that opportunity will not arise again anytime soon. <laughs> so on this, on this verse, that's what I did. So... As a result, you will not find a CD at Target, at Sam's Club, at Costco, at, uh, at Ocean State Job Lots, at Big Lots, and at Walmart. <laughs> but you will find it right here.
and at a dumpster in West Memphis because we got robbed and they took all my CDs. Ain't that a bitch? All right, so here you go. <laughs> Where they used to be a factory right outside of town, now there's a Walmart going up just started breaking ground. A faded glory, same old story, right across the map, just ring the bell and fill the shelves with Chinese crap. Why make it here when you can make it overseas? Third world slave labor, woo! Throw me the keys to my brand new pants. My Ivy League friends, executive washroom, the party never ends. Unemployment benefits extended for a year. But if you want a job that's worth the damn, forget about it here. A year before your firing, you would think about retiring, but now your pension plan has been looted. I said your pension plan's been looted. But that's okay. Cause Walmart is hiring. 65 ain't got a dime to your name. But that's okay, cause Sam's Club is hiring. Worked all your life, your retirement is gone. That's okay, cause Uncle Sam Walton's hiring. But now. The Chris O'Leary Band, and you're watching the extended play session. The name of this song is Trouble. Right. 
always comes out wrong. I know I feel it's a package deal that you reap what you had sown. There's an angel on my shoulder, but them devil always comes along. I said trouble. I've been living in. Ooh, I said trouble. I've been living in. comes out wrong. Now I feel it's a package deal and you reap what you had some man there's an angel on my shoulder. But them devil always comes along. I said trouble. I've been living in. <laughs> my dog in trouble. Hey. I've been living in. Now I finally get it all together. For all this trouble I've been getting in. Later on own a pistol and a hand across my heart. Little edge, I get off the ledge and I make a brand new start, man. It's these moments at them crossroads that can change a man apart. I said trouble. I've been living in. I dog in trouble. Woo! I've been living in. I finally get it all together.
All right, this song right here is a song of a later CD, which was the number one blues CD in the country for seven days. Seven glorious days we were number one. So Buddy Guy was up there on top of the charts. As he should be, he's Buddy Guy. And we made it up to number two, and I said to myself, damn, if you're gonna be number two to somebody, being number two to Buddy Guy is pretty damn good. He's a living legend. The next week, we were number one. I was in Mexico. I had my feet in the water. I had a margarita, a beautiful one about my side. Life was good, people. Life was good. I had the number one blue CD in the country. One week later, I'm in Troy, New York. Freezing my ass off. Drinking a Pabst Lou Ribbon. With number 68. It's just that time. The human cannonball, he ain't taking any calls. Cushions is ball with a case of brandy. Now, lion tamer Billy got elected to the hill where the whip and the chair might come in.
Ain't it sad when you walk in the midway? There ain't a soul to be found. Now the smell of the popcorn still hanging in the air. Chickens lying torn on the ground. And I'm tired catching up to everyone, baby. And the crowd never sticks.
the whiskey store. Gonna get me a jug of wine. Now y'all know I need it more. Gonna help me to pass the time. To keep a seal on the bottom. I've been struggling to the name. The weed can't come. I try to stay out of jail. Hair of the dog. Ooh, it almost never fails. Sunday morning comes. I hope I live to tell. Check one, two, there we go. All right, hey, let's hear it. Yeah. Guess who's here tonight? Vanessa Collier in the house. With Laura Chavez. All right, couple of things. Door you came in and out of, it's your main entrance, in and out. There's an emergency exit behind me. Just know that it's there. Uh, you can take pictures, please turn your flash off. Please turn your cell phone volume off and have a good time tonight because this is going to be a great show and uh, we'll talk to you after the show. Thanks, Bill. My name is Stephen Dill. For those who were here last night, you know what I'm going to say. I'm here with the uh, board of directors. It was February of 14 when Abigail and I first did our first show in a really dark garage over on Lenox, Lenox Street thinking, where the hell am I? And it's come a long way. But it's come a long way because of a lot of contributions from folks like you and a lot of folks who are here in the room. And I appreciate that. We all appreciate that. So it's, a, it's become a very complex operation. Lots of folks in the booth, lots of folks on cameras. Uh, and, and that all costs money. So what we've done is to make it a very simple way to donate. Up at the top by the door, uh, there's a small little machine that says $20 on it. If you put your card in there, wait for a second, it'll give you an arrow to pull it out. It'll give you some flashing lights to give you a momentary buzz of feeling, feeling good. And you will have donated 20 bucks in a fully tax-deductible donation to the, uh, to the Grassroots Cultural and Performing Arts Center, which is really the, uh, the nonprofit that runs this, leases the fallout uh, as a, a space, and hosts the program, which is Extended Play, which you're about to see. So for all those who are new, uh, welcome. We've been waiting, waiting for you. It's about time. Uh, but for all those who are back again, it's great to, great to see you. Keep on, keep on doing it. And uh, we appreciate each and every buck. Thanks. Thank you.
be right here when you arrive. Baby boy, when the cold wind blows, don't you know I'll be right here? When it gets so pitch dark at night, don't you know I'll be right here? Oh, when the dawn rolls, yes, don't you know I'll be right here? Baby boy, when the lightning strikes, don't you know I'll be right here? Oh, when the sun rose, oh, when the sun rose, on you know I am, I am, I am. Oh, I'm here, I'm here, I'll be right here. Oh, you know that is here. Hey, 
I am Vanessa Collier, and you are watching the Extended Play Sessions. The name of this song is Whiskey and Women. For me, all right. I said, hey, ladies, if you're in a house and you ever had a man, do you wrong? Well, this is what you should have said. I got two tears to share for you, honey. One for each nice thing you ever done. For as much as I've had to pay for your love, I'm going to call that toll-free number, request a refund. I can't stand your constant crying, whining, we want
Good. Yeah. You need to take All right. Can I talk to the audience? Is that, is that all right? All right. I'm not sure how this rolls, you know? It's all good. Well, thank you all for coming to see us. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's been really cool because I went to college in Boston and uh, we've been staying there kind of going within an hour and a half each way. So it's been kind of a cool four days. Did we just kick in the next one? All right. Ooh. That's new. I like it. All right. We're going to do one from my very first record. It's written about my first love. And it's one of those high school, high school loves. On again, off again, on again, off again, on again, off again. For a period of about five years. And uh, I wrote this song to get over this person. And uh, I am. I'm happy. <laughs> it's called The Run Around. Hope you enjoy it. Could you get for me the one around? I've been spinning and spinning out the control. Feel like I was tossed in a lost and found. So much change, the way things used to be. And it don't make no sense to me, no, no. Something just ain't right. And I need you to explain. Don't the sun. I'm giving up your troublesome mystery No more excuses I'll be gone before you miss me 
Cause if there's one thing I've learned, it's never be concerned with the lies of a liar. And loving you is like throwing tears on a fire. Cause I only end up a Chavez, y'all. All right. Good stuff. So uh, something that's a little bit different about what I do is I like a blend of things. Saxophone fits into every style of music, I think. I'm a little biased, but I like to play it over everything. I, was, uh, I went to school at Berkeley, and... Um, Got to play in, thank you, yeah. <laughs> it was a good four years. Um, but uh, I got to play bluegrass and country and R&B, funk, soul, a little bit of everything. And uh, kind of left my blues roots for a while and left the jazz roots for a while and went in the, in the outskirts, you know. And then I started, um, I started playing with Joe Lewis Walker my last year at Berkeley, yeah, yeah. And I found my blues roots again. So I do a little bit of everything of the roots of blues and the offshoots of it. So blues, funk, soul, you're gonna hear it all tonight. Yeah. And uh, this next one is off the latest record. You want me to? All right, I gotta get used to this. <laughs> um, so this next song is uh, written about my very first big gig under my own name. And the first gig, I was so happy to have it, meant that I drove 16 hours down to Florida for one gig to drive 16 hours back. <laughs> and then I got this offer to play this festival, which meant I'm driving half as far, eight hours, down to Greenwood, South Carolina. But it happened to be in the middle of July. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I rolled up, 103 degrees outside, 90% humidity, and we're playing in a vinyl tent with no airflow whatsoever. You can imagine the sight. 30 seconds into the first song. <laughs> I'm drenched, absolutely drenched. And I said something like, man, I'm up here sweating like a pig, y'all. And this guy from the back in a very thick South Carolina Southern accent, he goes, yeah, but you're singing like an angel. <laughs> so I thank him every, every show. I have no idea who he was, but without him, I would not have this next song. Sweating like a pig, singing like an angel. Well, 
I could just do this, it'd be great. <laughs> All right. We got lemon and lemon milk. Yeah. So, uh, any Bonnie Raitt fans in the house? I love Miss Bonnie Raitt, and somehow she's better live than on a record, which I think is impossible. And then you see her live, and she's amazing. Um, but she did this song. It's written by a man, written by Chris Smither. And, uh, right? You know what I'm talking about. And um, she flipped it and told it on, she turned it on its head and told it from a female perspective and uh, has made it a staple for every blues female artist starting out. And so we do it my way, my version of uh, Love Me Like a Man. Hope you enjoy it. The man that I've been seeing lately 
Got their soul up on a shelf They could never love me now Cause they can't even love themselves I say, I need someone to love me Baby, 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 I need someone who understands So don't, don't put yourself above me now And just love, love, love me like a man Such losers Don't think I haven't tried To find a man Who could take me home Instead of always Always If I'm bad I need someone to love me Baby, baby, baby I think that you can Yes Can you not So don't above me now and just love, 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 love me like a man. Mm -hmm. Come on now.
When I come home, sad and lonely, I feel like I'm gonna cry. Need a man to hold me, not some fool, some fool to ask me why. I need someone to love me. Baby, 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 I think that you can. That's right, can you now? So don't. Don't you dare put yourself above me now and just love me like a man, like a man. Come on. Isn't this band amazing? Yeah. Woo! Great. Perfect. That's what I think. There you go. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Perfect. Well, uh, I want to introduce the band real quick. Hopefully that's okay. Um, from San Diego, California, it is a pleasure to have her here. Please make her welcome Guitar Player of the Year nominee, Miss Laura Chavez. distracted by the tuner. Um, on bass tonight, um, also a Berklee College of Music grad, just very recently. Kansas City, now Nashville. It's one of the funkiest bass players around. Make him welcome, Mr. C.C. Ellis. And back there on the drums, from Columbia, Columbia, Maryland. Keeping time in time all the time, every time, Mr. Nick Stevens. <laughs> all right. Now I'm gonna play my favorite song that I've written. And um, it also won me first place for lyrics in the USA Songwriting Competition in 2017. It's pretty cool. Thank you. But um, the reason why it's my favorite is because it came out of kind of a struggle, a time of struggle for me. And I wasn't sure where my next step was going to be in my career. And I was real nervous about it. But I had a record to write. And um, thankfully, I have writing because it, it brought me out of whatever funk I was in. And uh, I sat in upstate, by a river in upstate New York. And this song fell out. And um, it's about being like the river, and no matter what gets in your way, you just keep on heading downstream. So it's called When It Don't Come Easy. All right, ready? One, two, uh-uh. Don't come easy, be the river running through. When it don't come easy, nobody's gonna save you. Way well, down the mountains, well down the earth, tough as it may seem, when it don't come easy, oh, the river keeps running downstream. i 
in my time, staring back at the past, falling behind. Now I'm dancing alone in the graphite night. For oh, the midnight haze, it whispers. I strain to listen, and I meet my shadow sand. When it don't come easy, be the river running through. When it don't come easy. And all the sediment of trial and error has come to settle like sawdust in my soul. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I follow the broken arrow that pointed down the dark and narrow. Now I'm dancing alone in the graphite night. Oh, the midnight. I think we're taking a short break. Ready? Okay. Oh, okay. Anybody got a joke? I'm not good with that. I'm not a joke teller. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I don't know what's happening behind me. Should be fun. Ooh, lighting up the drummer real nice. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I'm a big fan of B.B. King. Yeah. Right? Who isn't? <laughs> I can't, I, I mean, we did like 150 dates on the road, um, shows last year, 200 dates on the roads, give or less, give or take. Wow. Um, <laughs> and I can't imagine doing that 365 plus. So it's, I just think he's an incredible, was an incredible human being. Uh, right? So we're going to pay tribute to Mr. B.B. King with a little When Love Comes to Town. I was a 
Cross ever I was lost at sea Under the waves before love rescued me I was a fighter, I could turn on the threat I stand accused of the things I said When love comes to town, I'm gonna jump that train When love comes to town, I'm gonna catch that plane Maybe I was wrong to ever let you down But I did what I did before love came to town The guitar scream, notes were turning blue. I was lazing in a dream. As the music played, I tell my life turn around. Well, that was the day before love came to town. When love comes to town, I'm gonna jump that train. When love comes to town, I'm gonna catch that plane. Maybe I was wrong to ever let you down, but I did what I did before love.
One more time, folks. Happy Women Kick Your Ass Day. Happy Women's Day. I think tomorrow's Women's Day too, by the way. Every day, yes. Yes, that's correct. That's correct. That's what I meant. So, as always, make sure you uh, head back to the merch table. She's traveling. She's going to end up over in Europe, uh, Chicago, I guess, next week. You're going, right? You're going to Chicago? Awesome. How many times have you seen them? Six times. So they're traveling around. So they're on the road. Help them out. Buy some merch. They got some really great stuff. And uh, as always, grab your poster uh, designed by your own Bill Hurley. We got about a 10 minute break, so grab a beer and uh, meet us back in the backyard. Thanks a lot. History. For those people who haven't picked up on it, this place is wallpapered with posters, all of them designed and printed by Bill Hurley. All of them. And there's a hundred plus that we don't have space to put in frames and mount. All of this is history. For seven plus years, this place has been recording bands, and that's all that it's offered. Now they get a little gas, gas money. But basically, it's the content that Bill creates here that is the gift back to the bands and to you. You all know that you can find it on Vim Vimeo, Roku, and YouTube. So all of those have hundreds and hundreds of either full concerts, back in the day we were doing 29 minute segments for a TV uh, show, but now it's all individual cuts and a lot of them interspersed with the, uh, with the interview pieces and it's remarkable resources for you. So those are the kinds of things that are being done here and if you love it and you want to give us a little bit more than the ticket price, you know I was getting there eventually, right? <laughs> dip early and dip often up at the door and we would appreciate it. We love, we love you all, keep it, keep it up. <laughs> What has happened down here is the wind has changed. The clouds roll in from the north and it's starting to rain. It rained real hard and it rained for a real long time. Six feet of water in the streets of Evangeline. The river all day the river rolls all night some people got caught in the flood and some people got away all right and the river busted clear down to black mines and six feet of water in the streets of Evangeline Louisiana trying to wash us away they're trying to wash us away Louisiana yeah Louisiana they're trying to wash us away they're trying to wash us away President Coolidge come down on a railroad train had a little fat man had a, a notepad in his hand and the president said hey little fat man isn't it a shame what the river has done to this poor cracker's land Louisiana Louisiana yeah, they're trying to wash us away. They're trying to wash us away. Louisiana, I said, Louisiana. They're trying to wash us away. They're trying to wash us away.
Walt. Louisiana, Louisiana, and they're trying to wash us away. They're trying to wash us away. Louisiana, I said Louisiana, they're trying to wash us away, and they're trying to wash us away. They're trying to wash us away. They're trying to wash us away. See? You certainly could sing along with this one. I know you can.
dressed in green. I go, I go on day. She's more than a woman, a loving machine. Jack and both feet I made. I see that gal all dressed in black. I go, I go on day. She been making a living out that back. Jack and both feet I made. Talk about hey now. Goodbye, Joe, me gotta go, me oh my oh. Me gotta go, pull that piero down the bio. And my Yvonne, sweetest one, me oh my oh. The son of a gun, y'all have big fun on the bio. We'll jumble like crawfish pie, Billy Gumbo. Come, can folk come? The place is buzzing. Can folk come to see Yvonne by the dozen? Yeah, dress in style, go horse wild, everything gay, yo. Son of a gun, y'all have big fun on the bio. Cause Jumbo Oh, thank you. Thank you very much.
Welcome back. I'm Vanessa Collier. You're watching the extended play sessions. So we're gonna do one off my latest record. And again, the latest record is Honey Up. And uh, I, am a, I have a very huge love of reading. And uh, so I wrote a song about my two favorite books. The first one is To Kill a Mockingbird, right? because I love Atticus Finch. I think it's so important um, that he stood up for something that was right, even though it was unpopular. And I love that character and integrity in people, right? We need more of that. <laughs> and the second story that I love is the Greek myth of Icarus. Um, and the reason being because I love the thought of somebody being, you know, just daring enough to think they can fly close to the sun. And so I took both of those stories and uh, wove them into my own and wrote this song about a, a little Icarus, a three-year-old, red-headed, curly-headed kid coloring in the coloring book and just dreaming big dreams of flying towards the sun. So I hope you enjoy Icarus. with his crayons in his hand coloring in the lines real neat his chair is so the pop curls bouncing about his head filling up with all kinds of dreams he said I want to be bolder than the eagle yes I want to be smarter than Atticus Finch when I grow up I want to on the sun and I won't give up an inch so I said fly little Icarus fly fly little Icarus fly keep dreaming big and send your wings on the sky made some wings out of wax feathers and crazy glue started flopping like a ground bird in his front yard all his neighbors pointed and laughed thinking him a fool telling him he's too avant-garde he said I want to be bolder than an eagle yes I want to be smarter than Atticus Finch when I go up, I want to wrestle the sun And I won't give up an inch So I said, fly, little Icarus, fly Fly, little Icarus, fly Keep dreaming big in 
Said I might be bolder than an eagle, yes. Don't know if I'm smarter than an accused finch. But I sure was heck did wrestle that sun. I never did give up that inch. So I said, fly. All right, so I forgot to, to mention that Nick, Nick Stevens was coming out from behind the drum set to play this thing called the shitar. Mm -hmm. He can take that one home. It's very fun to say, I promise. And uh, this thing is really cool. They were made in Nashville up until 2014. But don't worry, if you like the sound of it so much, you can make your own. There's some plans online. Basically, take a crappy guitar body, strap some percussion jangly things to it, call it a shitar. It's pretty great, pretty easy. <laughs> so he's gonna play the shitar on this next song as well. And uh, so right now I hail from just 30 minutes south of Philadelphia, really close to Wilmington, Delaware. and. Um, but I was originally born in the South. I was originally born in Dallas, Texas. So I grew up here in a lot of Southern phrases. You know, if you can tell, I like y'all a lot. <laughs> I also love all y'all because it's so redundant. Um, and I love uh, fixing to, was something I grew up here in quite a bit. Fixing to go to the store, fixing to do something, you know. And my favorite is bless your heart. not gonna tell you why no it's one of my favorites because when I moved to the Northeast not everybody knows that bless your heart has two meanings right <laughs> the first of which can be oh bless your heart you're so sweet so kind so wonderful look at you and the second of which can be bless your heart do you know what day it is come on Come on, man. And so uh, when I was writing Honey Up, the latest record, um, it was a bunch of stories, and I thought, man, I want to write that Texan in me. So I wrote a song called Bless Your Heart, but I'm not telling you which one it is. <laughs> Thank you. 
Don't call me sweetheart. Don't call me baby. Don't call me anything but my name. You must be foolish, cause I ain't your woman, your daughter, or your friend. There's a saying in the songs, and it sounds real sweet. Bless your heart, you poor thing. You think you're fine as a cherry pie, a sweet tea sugar lips but when you start to over that sly look on your face well I'm I'm fixing to leave before I hear what you have to say there's a sand in the south and it sounds real sweet bless your heart you poor thing there's a sand in the south and it sounds real sweet bless your heart you poor Chavez, yeah. I know you don't know me. Just think I'm pretty as a peach in a scented kind. But don't you underestimate me. You can't tell what's on my mind. No. There's a saying in the south, and it sounds real sweet. Bless your heart. The poor thing. There's a saying in the south, and it sounds real sweet. The mm, poor thing. I can 
stand the rain against my window, bringing back sweet memories. Hey, window pane, do you remember how sweet it used to be? And when we walk together, everything was so grand, yes. But now that we've parted, it's just a one sound that I just can't stand. I can't stand a against my window. Sweet memories. I can't stand the rain. No, 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 no. I can't stand the rain. Cause ain't not down with me, no. Alone with the pillow. Where his head used to lay. I know.
Put your hat down, baby. Let's have a natural bow. Let your hair down, baby. Let's have a natural bow. If you can't let your hair down, we can't have no fun at all. Well, I said you can't take it with you. That's one thing for sure. No, no, I said you can't take it with you. That's one thing for sure. Well, but there ain't nothing in this whole wide world to keep on shuffle, shuffle, and cure. Go ahead. Okay.
All right. So uh, this one's off the Honey Up record as well. And uh, it's an instrumental because I like to celebrate the first instrument that I started on, which is a saxophone. And uh, I just love it, as I said. So this one's called Percolating. Thank you. Thank you. 
I mean, I have to remember the spiel from the beginning. <laughs> I got you. All right, so the name of this song is Whiskey and Women, take two. <laughs> Everybody's talk about the whiskey, complain about the women. I don't like either one. I like a good loving man, make a lemonade, honey. But before melting away under the hot summer sun, I wanna live a life without complaining. Living richer than a billionaire. All that hot air you're busting in with should be locked up in the frigid air. Well, you say you're evil. Cause you're always making things so gosh darn hard I wanna live a life without complaining Yes, I'm bound and determined to send I've got enough sense and now, sugar I should have left you long ago, yeah Come on now Well, 
for Miss Lloyd Chavez. All right, now, band, I need y'all to sit and simmer on that one for me, all right? And ladies, if you're in the house and you ever had a man do you wrong, well, this is what you should have said. I got two tears to shed for you, honey. One for each nice thing you ever done. For as much as I've had to pay for your love, I'm gonna call that toll free number, request a refund. I can't stand your constant crying, whining, weeping, wearing me down all the time. And pleading with me, ain't gonna get you nowhere. Cause I've gone deaf, a dumb and blind. My reeds don't like this weather up here. <laughs> well, dry. You know, it's just a piece of wood, so <laughs> it's kind of like, eh. Oh, no, it's okay. We're there. All right, so this last song I always dedicate, uh, I wrote it for my mom. Wow, oh, that was right on cue. Man, where are y'all every night? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> there you go, that's right. Uh, oh, anywhere, next, next week we're headed to the Midwest, you wanna come out? Yeah. All right, all right, come on. <laughs> yeah, Ohio's coming up, we're playing a couple places. Um, anyway, so this last song is a song uh, that I wrote for my mom, and my mom is a very special person. I hope y'all all get to meet her at one point or another. She does follow us around the country sometimes. Um, she's a full-time professor of, uh, of accounting at the University of Delaware. Yeah, accounting, woo. No, it is woo, because she does my taxes, so, hey. Um, <laughs> but I, I also have three younger sisters, 13, 11, and about to be eight, so she is a very, very busy woman, if you can imagine. They all dance, a couple of them sing, play violin, so they're always running, running different places. Uh, but overall, I just, I thank my mom because I would not be up here doing what I'm doing without her. Not only did she, right? Not only did she buy me my first three horns, that one included, um, but uh, she drove me to saxophone lessons 45 minutes each way, you know, uh-huh, no traffic, <laughs> to go study with this guy, Chris Vidala. And if you don't know him, please go look him up. He played with Chuck Mangione for 20 plus years, played with B.B. King, Aretha Franklin, 
everybody was first call in the D.C. Maryland area. And um, anyway, my mom took me every week, no complaints. And uh, I walked out of that room with a very big, huge, stupid grin on my face every time. And, um, you know, not only that, she was dedicated to me um, and the saxophone, but uh, she's just been an incredible role model for me because um, she's such a strong woman, you know? Yeah. And uh, it's no coincidence that I'm, we're sharing this on International Women's Day, yeah. right? <laughs> so this one's for my mom and all you strong women in the house. It's called Two Pot Sugar and One Pot Lime. Somebody careless has gone and satisfied my car You won't believe the day I've had He said, I got something so good It'll make the stars realign But watch out, it's two parts sugar And one part lime Drove my beat up Chevy down to my mama's house She was swinging on the porch Sipping a bourbon and stout I said, mama, I'm in a rut Can you make your sweet apple pie? She gave me a bear hug Look me square in the eye Just hanging there
Thank you very much. How about it for Miss Laura Chavez on the guitar? How about it for Mr. C.C. Ellis on the bass? How about it for Nick Stevens back there on the drums, y'all? And we got one more for you. Yay! She's excited. I don't know about the rest of y'all. She's, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> So um, I did want to mention, because I usually come out on the break, but uh, they told me to stay back there. So um, I will be back at the, at the merch tent. And uh, if you want anything signed, within reason, y'all. Okay? Within reason. I've gotten asked to sign the back of somebody's bald head before. So that's the line. <laughs> anyway, um, lost my train of thought. <laughs> Anyway, this one is one of my favorite songs. It's off my very first record, and it's written for a friend of mine just to celebrate life and celebrate uh, joy. We're going to take you down to New Orleans, so if you feel like getting up and shaking your groove thing, that's the way. All right, this one's called Bad News Bears. came to tell me my bills are overdue. Clicked his fancy red pen and said, we got all your IOUs. Well, just when I thought it couldn't get any bleaker, he kept adding zeros and I kept feeling weaker. So I said, Mr. Taxman, what do I do? You might as well sing about them bad news birds. Might as well sing about them bad news birds. You got trouble holding you down Throw up your hands and get rid of that frown And dance around them bad news bears hey. Took a break and escaped to the sweet sounds of the south Dreamt to that rabbit and rice, that creole spice Letting a fire in my mouth I did a little dance to the second round boogie Forgot all my problems and just played hooky Something about that soulful music That makes you wanna shout You might as well sing about them bad news birds Might as well sing about them bad news birds But you got trouble holding you down He said to me, Life may tear you up, it may tear you down and throw you to the sea. But you gotta keep your heart wide open, mend it every time it gets broken. Cause if you ain't loving, you ain't living, but that ain't the way to be. You might as well sing about them bad news bears. Might as well sing about them bad news bears. When you got trouble holding you down.
One more time for the band, yeah. I'm Vanessa Collier, thank you so much. See you next time. And one more time. Come on. Yes. Uh, I just got good news. How would you like to spend a little more time with this, folks? We're going to do an interview tonight. That's what I'm talking about. I want to hear some stories about where they've been, where they're going, what it's like to be her and them, and it's going to be awesome. So stick around for the interview. Uh, and again, once again, go back and, and uh, say hi to them real quick. We'll be at about a 10-minute break between now and the interview. So say hello to them. Uh, wish them well on their travels. Buy some merch. Spend some money on the fallout shelter. And again, thanks to Bill Hurley for the wonderful poster. We'll see you in about 10 minutes for the interview. Thanks a lot.
Oh, thank you. Fire on the bayou. Fire on the bayou.
Check, check, check one, two. Check. Yeah, there she is. She's in the house. <laughs> so it's um, hyperbole again. It's like, oh, my God, was that the best show that I've seen in here? And, <laughs> and it happens all the time. And it's the, and, but, you know, this was off the charts. I, it, it just you, you just killed it. I, I, yeah. Thank you. Um, you know, I want to I want to start with something just completely off the cuff and and I irrelevant to tonight, but your work with kids. Yeah, the blues in the school stuff. Yeah. 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 That in, that's something that um, we 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 were putting together a program here this year. We called it Blues You, mm -hmm. and we had. 15 of the best blues musicians in, in this area. I mean, guys that tour the world, you know? Yeah. And each one was going to come in um, one Tuesday, and that was going to be your guest instructor for this 15-week course. Yeah. And then at the end, you're, you know, all the students would have this big live, live stream performance, yeah. you know? And, uh, and that's why w what you're doing with... Blues in the schools is, is, is a real... Talk to me about that. Sure. So um, I didn't know much about it initially, and I got asked to do one in uh, Dothan, Alabama. That was the first one. And it was between... I think it was sixth grade through high school. And, um, you know, it's just so funny because I wasn't sure what to expect. So my curriculum has kind of changed. Um, at the beginning, it was kind of like, you know, just chase your dreams and whatever you're passionate about, mm -hmm. go for it, because that's what I've done, right? And here's my love of something. So whatever excites you, go for it. Um, and I think that's really important for kids at any age to, to hear from somebody, you know? Um, but I also, as I've done more research and kind of learned where the blues kind of branched off into, so I'm kind of like, oh, who's a fan of the Rolling Stones? Who's a fan of Gary Clark Jr.? Who's a fan of rap? Who's a fan of hip hop? 
because all this stuff comes back to the blues and the gospel stuff. Mm -hmm. And so it's kind of like, you know, at the end of that first one in Dothan, Alabama, we had twice. We had about 50 to 60 kids up there, like, doing hip-hop moves to the T-Bone Shuffle, you know. And it was, like, such a nice. beautiful nice. thing. So it's just kind of like just showing the music and, and, you know, a groove is a groove is a groove. You know what I mean? And you can love it just the same. You know, musically, you you, you get billed as a blues artist, you know, and, and for, for better or for worse. Um, but... If, you know that you if you come to see this show, um, it covers everything. Yeah. You know, it covers everything. There's a little bit of of, of soul. There's every kind of blues. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of Chicago blues, but then you know you're sitting down with a resonator, and there's a little bit of Delta and a little yeah. bit of Piedmont coming in there, and yeah. and there's some really cool stuff going on with the shatar and <laughs> yeah. and um, and then. Y y you've got the, the, you know, the, the secret weapon over here in the corner, <laughs> you know. And and I noticed on your merch, that's you're 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 not putting it all out there as a blues thing. You're putting it out there as a funk thing and a soul thing. And I think that is very smart. Thank you. So is that a conscious? I mean, is this something that? You know, because musically, look look what you're writing. You know, a, a lot of it is, uh, it's tough to write a story song and keep it in a 12 bar, you yeah. know? Um, yeah. And it, so you go off into this kind of different area. Is that, yeah. that kind of, am I? Absolutely. And th that's kind of how I thought about it was, one, I didn't see that many saxophonists doing, like, it's just, you play a blues on saxophone and it's still not considered 100% blues, right? Like, that is mainly a guitar thing. So one, I wanted to bring saxophone to the forefront in blues again, um, right? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I love it. It should be. It should be right up there with guitar. Um, and also, it's just my influences are so varied. I, I couldn't be happy doing just one thing. And even the various, you know, do a New Orleans blues, do a Delta blues, do a, you know, hill country thing. I just love so much different, you know, and I think listening to Bonnie Raitt is one of my biggest influences. Nora Jones was also an early one for me. Um, and as well as Coltrane and, and Cannibal Adderley is one of my favorite saxophonists, period. And Chris Fadala, who I mentioned tonight. Um, and all of those people, and including Joe Lewis Walker as well, came from so many different things that to be, to, to kind of pigeon pigeonhole yourself into one thing is not giving credit to all the things you could possibly do. And that's kind of what I feel. Mm -hmm. It's like, I really just want to do it all. <laughs> yeah. You had some miles texture going on tonight, too. Oh, you, you, you. Had some, you had some definite miles thank you. going on in there. Um, to the, to you guys playing with this kind of, I mean, this, th <laughs> This kind of renewable energy could solve the climate crisis <laughs> here. <laughs> I mean, it, it, so let, 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 playing with her, at, I mean, it, it's got to be a thrill. Absolutely, yeah. Um, the energy that she brings to the stage not only inspires us, but like we have to meet that somehow. Um, I don't feel like I always do, but that's, that's what I like. She keeps us pushing. Um, not only the way she plays, the way she sings, the way she can jump from a verse straight back into a chorus. And there's just nothing between the solo, between her singing. She, it's like the air. How do you how do you do it? I yeah, yeah. That's that, that's <laughs> but we we're all on headphones. We're you know we're all we we talk constantly as a as a crew because we're all trying to figure out where to be. In, you know, and and where we are, where where is your camera? Where are you going? What's going on? We got, you know, Connor barking, but all of us tonight were just like, oh my god! I mean, it's like you got to be running marathons. <laughs> it's crazy. I mean, it was just uh, insane. Um, the rhythm section tonight was absolutely <laughs> incredible. Um, I think you. Sh I, I I think you really should take a moment to, to take a bow because this rhythm section is absolutely insane. <laughs>
take a take a uh, take a moment. Talk about what it's what this is on a night to night basis for you. Um, well, as Nick said, playing with Vanessa is um, it's intense because it's the outpouring of, of her energy, and we're trying to match that. Um, but it's also it's it's a pleasure for us, I know, and for me to play with him, and for us to play with this band in particular, um, because everyone's got something that they're they're so strong at each in each place in this band. You know, every solo takes you somewhere. Like Laura is like a master of just building this arc of a storyline through her guitar playing, and it's fun for us because it kind of takes us on this journey as well, and we get to listen and follow along with wherever it's going. How much of the night? And, and any of you can take this. How much of the night is really improvisational from the previous night? <laughs> Why don't you take that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. <laughs> you take that one. Um, no, I... I <laughs> I'd say, you know, most of it. There's kind of like a... That's kind of what I wanted to hear. <laughs> I was trying rough, to lead like, you there. Structure of where it, you know, starts and ends, and whatever's in between, and you know, everybody listens to each other and watches each other, and but what happens in between is kind of all the, the improvisational part of it. And well, there's a great exciting. there's a great conversation that's going on. There's a big four way conversation that's happening. And you can tell that it's from night to night. It's like you, you have no idea what the subject is. You just know that there's this conversation going on and everybody's listening and everybody's watching. And you know that this is, well, this isn't what we were talking about last night when we did this song. We were talking about something completely different, but it was it, you can feel that. That's something that I notice right away when I'm, when I'm watching this kind of th is – yeah, I know that that's not the way they did this the other night because there's just – you can just tell that. Is that correct? Yeah. We could have done with another <laughs> extra mic, but, you know, we do <laughs> have several. Um, so this is something I think um, – you know, I, I have gone through various players because it takes special people to be able to do this every night. And it's not about playing the same thing. It's about, again, as she said, having a structure. But you can only do this with players that are so good at what they do that they can be flexible and they can change with you. So, you know, I know all three of them have my back if I go, like, a new direction in a night. And that's what I like because it they're pushing me as much as I'm. they're saying that I push them. You know what I mean? So that's what allows that to happen. It's just having phenomenal freaking musicians. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Behind an absolutely phenomenal <laughs> freaking <Thank> musician. <laughs> um, what's going on tour wise now? You're heading what to Indiana next? Is that correct? Indiana? I think that's the next date. Yeah. It's like next week, so I haven't <laughs> looked that far in advance, but yeah. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, I guess it is two days. But yeah. yeah, that's a good, that's a good, yeah, two days to it's Indiana. It's a nice little break. That's, yeah, yeah, that, that, <laughs> there's a lot of pee yeah. stops if you're going to do Indiana in two days. You can yeah. do it, yeah, you can stop. And, um, album wise, this, um, Honey Up is the latest. And, Honey Up is the latest. Um, th this is, um, um, I'm thinking 2017 or 2018? 2018. 2018. 2018. Yeah, 2018. 2018. So is there yep. something coming? May 15th. There May is a new record this coming. Year. Nice. Yep. How much Absolutely. of the stuff tonight was new? None of it. So okay. we have not played any of the new stuff out live yet. Um, we. Oh, that means you have to come back. Oh, hey. <laughs> you see, that's what this is supposed to be. It's like, oh, my God, I have all this new material that yep. I need, like, really cool video for, so yep. I have to come. Okay. I mean, so now you have to come back. That sounds like a plan. Right, that's good. We're back that's in uh, Massachusetts in, Mar in May. Ish. <laughs> Could oh, make this happen. All right. Well, we have to talk. Okay. Um, tell me about the new album. Everything written? 
Um, yes, everything's written. So recorded? I, uh, everything of their parts is recorded. Um, I'm actually spending the next three days um, to finish horn parts and vocals, at Where? which I record at my house. Yeah. Um, just so I got my engineering degree from Berkeley as well as a performance degree. And because I like to record vocals all by myself. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's what, that's what I've done. It's what I did with Honey Up and it's just wh where I feel most comfortable and yeah, I've liked how it's turned out. So nice. Yeah. Nice. Well, you know, Connor will work with you on this. Um, Great. You know, you can have all the input you want on how this gets engineered. Beautiful. Because um, <laughs> everything's recorded multi here, so yeah. you know you know you get to tweak all you want, and Great. we'll work with you on that too. Great. Um, and uh, so you're not recording live. So we cut the band live. Yeah. Um, and I cut a vocal then, and I cut saxophone parts. I'm actually surprisingly keeping most of the saxophone solos. Um, with the band because it's just got that energy of live, you know? Yeah. Um, but all of these are cut in the studio with everybody playing all at once. Um, my hope is that in the next couple years we will do a live record. Um, <coughs> just waiting for a record deal to end. And then <laughs> I have, m have my songs back. So, yeah. That's the way it works. That's the way it works. Yeah, <laughs> that's, the, yeah that's the way it yeah. works in this, this, this um, business. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've been there. Um, and tell me about the album, um, the direction, and, and you know some things that you, w you would want people to know in advance of it. Sure. So um, it's eight originals and three covers, all of which, or none of which, anyone has heard live. Um, and it's, you know... That's interesting. Though. Yeah. That's very interesting that you don't test things out <laughs> live. I've always wanted to. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's like... I, I So I love... I recorded my second record, Meeting My Shadow, with Laura. And um, that's kind of how we met. And I don't ever want to make another record without her because it's just, yeah. you know... <laughs> You saw it, <laughs> so. Oh yeah, yeah, completely understandable. I'm, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so it's kind of like, it's always been my thing. Um, it's always been my dream to kind of like play stuff out and, and see how it breathes and it grows because the, all, every other record I've done has been like, write it, record it, and then you play it out live and it's like, oh, this blossoms into this other beautiful thing. Um, which is I think where the live record will come in. But at the same time, you know, doing 150 shows a year, it was kind of, it would kind of be difficult to throw something new in there, and I don't always have Laura, and um, sometimes the band, you know, these guys usually are in the last year have stayed the same, but with the moving pieces, you kind of go with what you have videos and recordings of, like, this is how I want this played. <laughs> so that's been the past so far, but one of these days, yeah. I'd like to. I could see how you would, you know, uh, not want to do an, a, a, an album without it. Right. You know? It's like I'm thinking yeah. to myself, I don't want to do any more shows, you know, without <laughs> Just bring I her just back. Don't want any House more, guitar player. I don't want any more guitar players except, you know, you just have to move here now. And, yeah. you know, you can have the green room. You know, we'll put a shower in there. And you're just, you're just the guitar player now for the house, you know. Yeah. Um, and then we have to make a room for you, so, you know, because, okay. you know. <laughs> um, did you have fun tonight? Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a unique thing, you know. It, 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 it is a, it, it's a very unique kind of setting and, um, and the, the, you know, the structure of this. I'm, I'm, I'm sure there's probably places around the country that are, you know, um, doing something similar to it, but but for for this area, it's kind of a unique thing, and it's um, it's 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 here for um, it's it's a content thing. You know, it's like um, use it and um, make the best of you know make make the best of it, and yeah. you know. So it, it uh, I, I'm grateful that you know Kevin said yeah. to me, you know what, hey, I've got Vanessa, you know, it's got a day off, and I'm like, 
Oh, well, okay. Uh, you know, let me think about this. Yes. <laughs> and so, um, I'd, I'd love to, you know, if you're in the area and you've got this new stuff and you're, yeah. you got a crazy day off that you're not doing anything with, let's do it again. Yeah, we would yeah. love to. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's definitely do it again. Um, <laughs> this was an incredible night of music and your playing was just mind boggling, you know, and <laughs> your you. singing was fantastic. Thank you. Everybody, yeah. everybody just knocked it out tonight. Thank you so much Thank for, you. for being here. Thank you for having us. Everybody. Appreciate it. Let's hear it one more time here. Do we have any questions? Any, any, any questions yeah, from anybody? Questions. Yeah, any questions? Anyone? Hey, Nick, like, you're up there and you're like in your own little world sometimes. <laughs> is, that, is, that, I mean, is, is that just your friction or sometimes you are just in your own little world? <laughs> it's completely unintentional, I would say. Um, I'm always listening, you know, even if I, I'm like looking down or, or I'm doing something weird. <laughs> the amount of weird pictures that have been taken of my face <laughs> playing, dr I mean, it's, it's yeah. <laughs> It's crazy, but um, but no, it, it it happens sometimes, like where you just you get completely uh, absorbed by the solo that's going on or something. You can't. It's hard to put your attention somewhere else besides just like listening to it. And sometimes that means I'm just looking straight down at the ground, or it means sometimes I'm looking to my left. Or, but I'm working on that because <laughs> I want to always look like I'm, you know. Not in my own little world, but well, you do have sometimes it happens. Expressions, I must admit. Oh well, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Anybody? All right. So, again, Vanessa, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. All right. So you get the uh, you get the honor. Now you get you see that exit sign back there where the fans spinning. Yep. Yeah. All right. So just look back there and say, Connor. Roll the credits. Connor, roll the credits. Roll the credits. Yeah. Yeah. Just a rock smolder. Thank you.